All right, U.S.-Pakistan relations. Uh, what is going on with Pakistan? What are they thinking? Pakistan is always a problem. They got caught trying to be neutral on Ukraine and cozy up to Russia so they can get trade and energy deals. But then remember, there's a new prime minister, right? So the question now is Pakistan's got to make some choices. And the head of Pakistan's army came out and said, go Ukraine. Now, Pakistan's a democracy, but the army keeps really tight control of politics. So let's see, this is not a good time for Pakistan to try to be neutral. Our two most prevalent uh, adversaries, Russia and China and Pakistan, with a big army and nuclear weapons and a you know, somewhat rocky uh, past on, on the U.S., what is going on with China and Pakistan? That's a lot of ups and downs, especially as the U.S. gets closer to India. But China and Pakistan have been friends for decades. And now Pakistan is really deeply in debt, monetary debt to China and Xi Jinping. And remember, Pakistan is also the one who helped North Korea build up their uranium processing back in the 1990s. So Pakistan is always a bit of a wild card. Biden, though, to try to formulate a policy for Pakistan and see how it goes. There's a better chance, I think, with this new prime minister. But again, Pakistan's got some big choices to make. Do they want to be with the good guys or are they going to be off on their own, Russia, China, and be in neutral on Ukraine? Some that Joe Biden, we were told, was the most experienced person to ever run for the presidency. Uh, and yet the world seems to be um, on fire. So let's elevate you to the president. You're the president. What would you say to Pakistan? They've got nuclear weapons. They've got a big army. And we're not real happy with them. What, what is our message to Pakistan? Pakistan needs to support Ukraine. Stop looking for deals with Russia right now limit their involvement with China, okay, and then also stop the anti-American policies that are part of the reason that Imran Khan, their prime minister, got voted out of office a couple weeks ago.